Hello friends, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss the comparison between different methods available to solve the load flow problem. So let us begin. So friends, uh, till now we have studied the different method for solving the load flow problem, the first we have discussed it was Gauss-Seidel method. Then we have discussed the Newton-Raphson method. Then of course we have discussed decoupled method, and after that we have discussed the fast decoupled load flow method. So in this lecture we are going to discuss the comparison between these methods. Okay, so let us begin with the complexity of the uh, method. Okay. You can see that the Gauss-Seidel method we have seen very simple equations were involved. Okay, we have uh, those two quadratic equations. First one, it was for the real power in terms of oh, phase angle and voltage, and the second one it was uh, for reactive power in terms of phase angle and voltage only. We have seen that. Uh, those equations, how we can solve those in iterations. So I can say that Gauss-Seidel method, complexity-wise, it is easy method. Okay, because it is not that complex. It involves very less calculations or very less mathematical part or that to a simple mathematical part. Newton-Raphson method, of course, it is a complex method. Okay, because number of calculations are more here or number of mathematical part is more here we need to uh, do the calculations for that jacobians okay and in each iteration we have to invert that jacobian okay and of, of course we ha we have to use different approach where uh, we have different types of buses in the system so i can say that it is complex newton raphson method fast decouple method with certain approximation we have simplified it Okay, so I can say that it is less complex. It is not very easy, but I can say that it is now become a less complex one. Okay, next we'll see storage. Okay, when we are going with the Gauss-Seidel method, the storage requirement is minimum. We need a minimum storage here in this case. But when we are going for the Newton-Raphson, in the beginning of the Newton-Raphson discussion only, I told you that the disadvantage of the Newton-Raphson method is regarding the storage requirement. So we can say that here maximum storage is required. Maximum storage is required. Okay, what about the case for fast decoupled method? Uh, here I can say that as compared to the Newton-Raphson, we read 40% less storage. Okay, 40% uh, less than I can say 40% less than the NR, Newton Raphson method. Okay. Of course, uh, these methods we don't uh, solve them uh, by manually. We do we do uh, take the help of that uh, uh, programming tools. Okay. Uh, we may use that MATLAB, uh, PSCAD, or this uh, this type of softwares we can use uh, to solve uh, this load flow problem using these different methods we have. So programming wise, Gauss-Seidel method, programming is easy. Okay, easy programming is there. But when we are going for the Newton-Raphson method, I can say that programming is, tough programming is involved here. Okay, and here for fast decoupled load flow method, comparatively less tough as compared to the Newton-Raphson method. Less tough. Okay, conversion wise, conversion wise, uh, you see here the Gauss-Seidel method converges linearly. I can say here linear convergence. Here the convergence in case of Newton-Raphson method is a quadratic convergence. Is a quadratic convergence. And here in fast decoupled method, the convergence is geometric convergence. Convergence is geometric convergence in this case. Uh, see, uh, 
what is the difference between this linear convergence quadratic convergence and geometric convergence is that quadratic convergence uh, will give the result in less number of iteration in three to four iteration will get the result okay whereas uh, when we are going with a linear convergence the iterations will be more here okay and the geometric convergence i can say it is in between linear and quadratic okay next point it is regarding the sensitivity it is regarding the sensitivity sensitivity in the sense uh, suppose how we can uh, discuss this for change in delta okay for a small change in delta how much uh, the change will be there in terms of uh, real power that is nothing but sensitivity if i change the angle how much a real power what will be the variation in the real power that is nothing but the sensitivity okay uh, here that sensitivity option we we don't get when we are dealing with the gaussian method okay we don't have that option okay but when we are going for this nr method or fast decoupled method we do have this sensitivity option with us why do we have this sensitivity option here you see that uh, while discussing the nr method we have discussed that nr or fast decoupled method it has that relationship the differentiation of p with respect to del delta we have this okay so from this i can say that the sensitivity if you want to check or the sensitivity property if you want to analyze we can do that with the help of or in the newton raphson method and in fast decoupled method but we don't have that provision in gaussian method because there we don't have such term uh, in gaussian method that is why i can say that uh, this sensitivity property will not be available in gaussian method okay next it is reg uh, regarding the system size okay see newton raphson method uh, does not care about the system size let the system size be a 3 bus system 30 bus system or 300 bus system there is no issue no problem at all with the newton raphson method okay here i can say suitable with any size let the number of buses be anything okay the nr method is suitable same is the case with the uh, this fast decoupled method but gaussian method we cannot use or we cannot uh, we should not use it for the system where number of buses are more okay for large system we should not prefer the gaussian method because anyway the calculations or the con uh, iterations are more so if the system size will be more number of iterations will be involved so uh, this gaussian method is suitable for medium size system it is suitable for medium size system okay next is uh, system type okay system type it is in regard with the whether the system is operating uh, in normal condition or ill condition system okay we have uh, discussed what is ill condition system okay the gaussian method is suitable only for normal system okay it is suitable for the normal system whereas the newton raphson method it is suitable for normal as well as ill condition system okay it both of them uh, this on um, fdlf and nr both are suitable for normal condition system and ill condition system but we should not use the gaussian method for ill condition system it is useful only when the system is normal system okay and the next comes is accuracy accuracy wise you can see the newton raphson method will give you the highest accuracy okay it is the best when we are concerned with the accuracy newton raphson method will give the high, uh, highest accuracy okay whereas the fdlf see what we did in fast decoupled load flow method is we have applied certain approximations or certain assumption but of course those assumptions were physically justifiable 
but the facts the fact will not change as we are applying some assumptions so we have to uh, consider the accuracy okay we have to deal with uh, accuracy so we may not get the highest accuracy in case of fast decoupled loop flow meter so i can say here we we have lesser accuracy in case of fast decoupled load flow method as compared to the newton raphson method okay so this is all regarding the comparison between gauss seidel method newton raphson method and fast decoupled load flow method thank you very much